Hello, my fellow citizens, and welcome to the 25th episode of Star Citizen FM. My name is Dr. Hawk, and wow. Looking back on the calendar, I have been doing this for six months. The first episode of Star Citizen FM was on January 7th, if my memory serves me correct. And we are now at episode 25, and it is June 23rd, 2013. So, wow. <laughs> I wanted to start this episode off with a bang, so I will continue with my thanks and everything after. But just in case you guys have been living under a rock, or just haven't had the opportunity to see this, CIG has a question for you. What is speed? If someone were to ask you, what is speed? What would you tell them? Is it simply a measure of distance covered over time? The magnitude of velocity? Or is it something more? At origin, speed is more than a number. It's a state of being. Speed is a shock to the soul. Speed is a call to action. Speed is... Introducing the 2943 300i from Origin Jumpworks. I pretty much completely disregarded my morning wood as soon as I saw that video, and I'm pretty sure many of us can say the same thing. <laughs> Props to you guys at CIG, that was a beautiful, beautiful video. And if this is any indication of you know how you guys plan to do the advertising for the game in the future, please do more. In fact, you know, Lexus, Ford, BMW, they could take a few pointers from you guys. <laughs> so. If you haven't figured it out, there is a 300i promotion going on right now. Um, back to the topic I was saying though, thank you guys all for following me for so long. Even though I know I can sound boring in that, you guys have stuck in there and obviously I'm doing something right. So props to 25 episodes and you know at the same time it's a perfect timing because if you are a lover of speed and a lover of CIG, where you just like spaceships, there is a 300i sale on right now, so <laughs> I get to promote it. So there's a 300i, 300i sale uh, promotion going on right now. There are four different variants. Um, I'm including the original variant if you've already bought it. As per the actual sale, there's only... Uh, there's a, No, no, well, there's four. There's the 300i, the original. There's a 300i with the uh, 315P, which is an explorer. There's the Arbiter, which is the 325A. And then there's the Lightspeed with the 350R. Now, if you're having trouble deciding which variant you'd like to purchase, I'll give you a quick rundown of each. The Digital Bounty Hunter package, and actually that's the package I got a long time ago, is the original 300i. If you would like a 300i in its you know, original form and format, you can see the image right here. There's a handy brochure to walk you through everything that you're getting. The 300i comes standard equip, standard ABS, standard you know, skid. Oh wait, crap, this isn't a car. <laughs> Rather, it comes with laser cannons, shields, afterburners, things that you don't normally associate with automobiles. I'm sorry, every time I look at this I think I'm buying a car. And I'm pretty sure that was the goal. So you come with your laser cannons, it'll come with your, you know, your thrusters, everything that you know is stock, and you'll have a 300i. If you'd like to step it up, and let's say maybe you're more of a uh, explorer, there's the 315P. 
Uh, it comes with a Dragon Stellar STC Silver, a uh, slightly more advanced thruster, so you get to go a little bit faster, little jump a little further, as well as come with a little tractor beam if you find anything juicy in space that you might want to, you know, nom up and sell or use, whatever have you. As well as, uh, as far as I know, there's even advanced shielding, or at least what I'd assume is advanced shielding. Nope, it's the same Gorgon Defender all stop. So if you want to explore a little bit, there's a 315P. There's the 325A if you're more into shooting everything that moves. Uh, this 300IA actually comes with a mass driver cannon. And it actually mentions something about boring through meteorites, so I don't know if you'll actually be able to dual purpose this for both shooting and mining, which would be interesting. And it also comes with infrared missiles. So, I think that's pretty good. And then if you absolutely just positively have to fucking speed through an asteroid with your own ship, <laughs> there's the 350R, which actually comes with two engines. Uh, as far as I know, you will not be able to upgrade to the 350R. This has been something that's been talked about in the forums. Uh, you will have to buy that ship separately. Apparently, it's a different hull. So there's a few options there, and, and as far as CIG has said, there's going to be a different video for each one, so that'll help you pick your ship. Then again, knowing some of you, you could easily just buy them all, <laughs> since there's a few community members who have a lot of ships and a lot of money. <laughs> so there you go, there's the 300i, the 315p, the 325a, and the 350r. Something something for everyone, I think, and I myself have been eyeing the 350R, if only because I have crazy plans in it involving craziness. I'm going to shut up now. It's top secret. You're not, you guys are not allowed to know. I wouldn't be much of a hawk if I was going slow now, would I? An interesting note you can take away from this, uh, we've actually raised about $500,000 since the start of this campaign. It started roughly after we reached 10 million, so I'm ballparking it here, but 500000 in a short time frame, that's, that's a Kickstarter right there. That's about a quarter of what Chris Roberts asked for originally, so I think we'll pull in some bank. So in closing notes, go buy 300i because Hark said so. It's sexy, and that alone merits a purchase. Earlier this week, there was actually a video released in the comlink featuring a Chris Roberts interview with GameStar. Um, actually, also, it's also a bunch of E3 roundup as well. So, the interview focuses mostly on why Star Sim won't be a pay-to-win game. I think that this is actually might be trailing off the interview that I had with him. Then again, I think there's a lot of people worried about this because pay to win is something a lot of the current generation of games suffers from. World of Tanks being the first, or at least trying to of, of late, to amend this issue. Although, we could argue about their policies on a later date. This is Star Citizen FM, not World of Tanks FM. The video goes over some good highlights, and you can easily find it in the com link of robertspaceindustries.com and it should be in the description below my video. Although thinking about pay to win and customization, <laughs> on a completely different note, there's actually a concept art uh, that was released in the com link related to bounty hunters. Now, this is sort of specific to a particular concept, but it actually is a concept art based on what people will be able to choose for the customization of their characters, etc. or whatnot or how they would see NPCs going around. While they're not in-engine rendered, it does at least give us an approximation of where they're going with the art direction. And given how we've already seen you know, the options we have available for ships, so I'm pretty sure that character customization will be there. Um, I'm not going to elaborate too much on artwork, because as mentioned, it is artwork. And until we see it in-engine, there's not much to go on, but for those of you that like your customization, it seems apparent that we'll have some, so I would not you know, worry too much. That article as well can be found on the comlink, you can check that out. And speaking of the comlink and the website in general, some of you are probably noticing cracks around the website. In fact, this has been brought up by the, on the forums by some newer members. The cracks are cracks, my friends. 
Slowly but surely you will be enlightened, and the path to righteousness will be made clear. And yes, the path to righteousness, we will not be worthy. In fact, it will actually be visible on June 28th. To those of you who are not yet aware, and these might be new viewers, there is a 24-hour live stream coming up, June 28th. So be sure to be there. Uh, it will start at 11 a.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time, with Wingman's Hangar, and will carry on through to the next day and same time, 11 a.m. So get some coffee, get some chips, get some pizza, I don't care what you get. If it's yummy and it's edible and it has caffeine, in fact, maybe if you could have it all in one, that would be even better. Just don't mix the alcohol and caffeine, that's not healthy for you. Actually, that's something I also wanted to address, I'm going to go off topic here. For the 24-hour live stream coming up, I believe I owe you guys an apology. Um, I may or may not have a episode of Star Citizen FM for the 24-hour live stream. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm actually going to be covering the 24-hour live stream. Don't you worry your faces. Uh, I have actually quite a surprise plan for that, and some of you to thank for helping me arrange it. However, just because I'm not sure of the time frame and what I've booked off for work, I might have to do things in stages of that. I don't know, I'll figure it out. If there isn't a star episode of Star Citizen FM, I can hope it, you know, hope I can make up for it with the surprise. If not, and I get lucky, well there you are. You have an episode of Star Citizen FM and the surprise, and maybe even a side orbit order of chips if I feel gracious enough. So I just wanted to get that out of the way because I do feel obligated to at least, you know, give you guys something every week. I, I have fun doing these. And we're at 25 episodes now, so I don't see why I should slow down. And now that we're actually having ships come out, I'm excited for when the hangar module and, you know, the dogfighting module comes, because I, as my goal was stated before, I want to be reviewing these ships and going over their loadouts and their optimum speed and, you know, what are they good in PvP or PvE and Here's a loadout by, you know, CCC Dover, and he likes this because of this. But until then, we can only bask in the glory of the advertising of Origin Jumpworks. So <laughs> but yeah, that's my little announcement as well. Sorry about that, but I will definitely endeavor to try to make sure you guys get your Star Citizen FM as well. Oh, and speaking of episodes, there is, as usual, another episode of wingman's hangar I believe this is episode 26 uh, you can find it in the com link and this one was also pre-recorded last week so uh, Eric was actually over in the Bahamas although he should uh, be back now so if you guys have seen him in the chat you know, say hi to him I'm pretty sure he had a lot of fun I hope you had a lot of fun wingman and uh, we hope the uh, the weight loss went well while you were on vacation Although, at the same time, I think everyone's entitled to splurge here, here and now. Trying to do a whole weight loss program 24-7 will drive you batty. And having family members that have done that in my family, I know this to be true. So, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Good to have you back on board. And if you're still in the Bahamas, then I hope you're at least enjoying that. Uh, you can look forward to seeing Wingman again during the 24-hour live stream. Ben... Chris, everyone will be there. Uh, I believe Chris and Sandy will be at LA and Wingman and Ben. It's, things are getting split up from what I know, but there'll be a Google Hangout call and everything there, so you guys can check that out. It will be a lot of fun. And alas, that actually pretty much covers everything I had to go over today. Again, no interview lined up. I, yeah, derpy, derpy, and busy, busy, busy. To all of you clans or people out there that are interested in doing those, I still want to do them. I, in fact, there's one individual who has been trying to get my attention, and I just haven't been able to get back to him. So if you guys do, however, want to try to you know, sit down, we can have a little hawk view. Um, I have no problem with it. If you're a clan and you want to talk about your clan for a little bit and advertise, or if you're a fan fiction writer or you're working on something that you think deserves note for the uh, the, the community to see, let me know and we'll pull you onto Star Citizen FM. Uh, you can either message me here on YouTube, on the description, or in the forums. In fact, doing it on the forums, even private messaging is best, as I see that 
a lot more easily than I do YouTube comments. So if you want to appear on Star Citizen FN, come jump on in. And uh, like I said last time, thanks for viewing, guys. This has been great. I'm having fun doing these. And I don't plan to stop. And a little note, I'm actually viewing this now in pre-recording, uh, post-recording, sorry, and I sound like shit. I've had a bug for the past few days, too, so that's probably why I haven't interviewed you yet, my good sir, and you know who you are. But uh, I'm just starting to feel a little better, so I apologize if I sound like there's a you know iron pipe shoved up my sinus cavity, but I'm working on extracting that, so we'll see how that goes in the next few minutes. But anyways, this has been Dr. Hawk. I appreciate you guys for following. If you liked the video, please like it. And if you want to subscribe, click the Fuzzy Hawk on the lower left corner. Uh, leave feedback in the comments if you, you know, like I said, liked it, or if you find something you think I need improvement on. And as always, you guys take care and fly safe. This is Dr. Hawk signing off.